Welcome back, you beautiful souls. Thank you so much for keeping it locked. Let's look forward now to the festive season. Yes, it is here. I can't believe we're actually talking about Christmas now. It is almost upon us, and kids are looking forward to receiving their favorite toys. However, more than a million children in South Africa don't know what it feels like to own a toy, not one at all, a book or a game or anything of their own. Well, Safri Pol, together with the Angel Network, will make the dream of owning a toy a reality for many underprivileged children this year with their Let's Plastic Responsibly toy campaign. And here to tell us all about it is Mark Berry, the commercial executive of Safri Pol and the Angel Network's Terry Marks. Guys, welcome back. Thank you. I can't believe it's been a year. No. Can we? It, that is crazy. Time certainly flown by. And I mean, it's quite heartbreaking to hear that there are quite a few South African kids that's never had a toy or a book or something of their own. Never mind a brand new toy. Mark, I'm going to start with you. Thank what you. is this toy campaign all about? Okay, so the, f the, the first thing is the society that we're living in at the moment has got some speed bumps, you know. Yeah. And um, just through a little bit of effort on everyone's behalf through this campaign that we're doing with the Angel Network, to, we can actually get a, a toy that's not adding any value to you in your cupboard or your house and actually be able to repurpose and reuse that and actually give somebody, as I say, that's something that they would never have before. Mm -hmm. um, and to, we did this campaign last year. Um, we were very well supported. We got just slightly less than, just slightly under 3,500 toys donated. Wow. Um, and actually to go out into these underprivileged communities and actually give the guys a, a Christmas uh, present is something that uh, tugs on your heart. You yeah. know, it really is it's something else. It's something we, we completely take for granted and it can make such a massive difference in a young child's life. There, Obviously the practicality of just owning a toy, but it's the notion, it's the idea of yeah. them being that important in that moment. Mm. Terry, how did the Angel Network connect to this and how do you feel about this kind of dynamic when it's made so simple for those of us who want to do something and I believe everyone wants to do something to be able to just do that through one simple donation? Absolutely. Um, Safripol approached us a year ago to do this initiative and we are so thrilled again to have this opportunity. You know, there are so many children out there that are living through incredible hardship, mm. even more so than pre-COVID. Yeah. And basically the partnership that we have with Safripol is something that really benefits these children. So with Safripol, we're looking for the conduit and the networking to get these toys out into the communities, the Angel Network has that through all our beneficiaries. And we are able to distribute to, you know, to these children. And pre-COVID, Christmas was something we always had on our agenda. Mm. But now that we are focused so, so um, passionately on feeding out in the yeah. communities with COVID being so devastating. Yeah, food security has become Absolutely. the biggest issue. Yeah. We are very focused on food security, sustainability. We were concerned about having the funding or getting in the donors to help us yeah. make Christmas a reality for these children. So through Safropol and this initiative, it's an amazing opportunity for us to know that we're going to hopefully get an incredibly successful initiative together and be able to give more and more toys out to these children. And bring some joy into their into their difficult joy lives. Love, yeah. They do need that. And I mean, Absolutely. as you mentioned, Terry, you know, the big focus has been on food security, but kids need toys. Absolutely. They need to play and really explore with their imagination and get creative. And you often do that through play with toys. Now, Mark, why is this initiative so close to your heart? Yeah, it's just okay. We need to be responsible in everything that we do, okay? So it's not just, we've got our campaign, Let's Plastic Responsibly. And really that we talk to there about the behavior of using items that end up, you know, in the ocean, in, in the ocean <laughs> or in the environment. So we, we are against uh, pollution of all forms in the environment and particularly plastic pollution. So we've got our new campaign, well the Less Plastic Responsibility campaign has got uh, an additional element to it. And the three elements that we've added to it are repurpose, recycle and rethink. Mm. And I'll use an example that um, Terry shared with us. And it's a simple, simple thing like your ice cream container, right? Um, that you would just use and chuck in the bin. What the Angel Network are finding in terms of their feeding scheme in their soup kitchens 
is they haven't got crockery and cutlery to actually serve meals out to these people. And if you look to our campaign and you go repurpose or rethink your old ice cream container, there's a food container for you. Yeah. That's along those type of lines. So again, as Terry was saying, you know, if, if you go to these communities and the guys haven't even got food, there's no chance they're going to get a Christmas gift. Yeah. You know, and Terry was also explaining to us, you know, like for instance, one soccer ball, eight kids have got an activity or a toy or something to Social as well, something yeah. to do. And uh, being absolutely honest with you, I think we mustn't be wasteful. There's things in our own lives, just with a tiny little bit of effort, go take it out the cupboard and make somebody's month. Yeah, man, it's you might have forgotten longer. about it, but it's going to make a massive difference. Yeah. How, how can we help? What do you need from us? So you guys are already helping tremendously, and you did last year, and I want to thank you guys for that. That was really fantastic. Um, you guys it's are giving us the pleasure. airtime and the uh, wherewith with our campaign. Um, we've had a tremendous amount of, of support for the initiative, and I think it's just a case of participating and actually even making a small effort yourself to just go and get one or two... Um, less used toys in your particular environment and donated in one of our boxes. Okay, and the boxes can be found at Toy Kingdoms across South Africa. Yeah, so we last year we started a little bit later with the concept. We were a little bit earlier this year, um, just to try and get to a little bit. Just to more freak us out at the end yeah. of the year is yeah. 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 Spring. <laughs> People keep spring clean, and this is the perfect yeah. time to that donate very good time, those pre-loved yeah. toys. So um, there's more boxes. We've gone from 10 boxes last year to 54 boxes this year. And then um, also what we've got, we've got schools involved this year, we've got a couple of corporate customers that are also involved. Um, so there's a lot more pick-up uh, pick points. Oh, Brilliant. fabulous. Guys, thank you so much, Terry. Thank you for the work you do every day. The Angel Network is amazing, and I'm so glad that they're getting this kind of shot in the arm. So enjoy thank Christmas, you. guys. I'm sure we're going to connect a lot yeah, thank until you. the end of the year, but hopefully as many people out there as possible will go and do a little audit at home. I can guarantee you there are toys that your kids are not using that could be repurposed. Just do a little rethinking yourself, and you could change someone's life on the most fundamental level.